screen. It's an, yes, yes, it's, indi it's an indicator that shows It's us picking what's up going some on. kind of external yes. information because that line mm -hmm. this morning was going in this direction. Mm -hmm. Then later today it was going this direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's going across and back and forth this direction. Mm -hmm. It is my belief that this line that we get on my video monitor is not the result of uh, a bad power supply or uh, some kind of noise from the digital circuitry. See, now it's going back the other way which means a 180 degree phase shift. Okay, it's almost as if someone's tuning it back and mm -hmm. forth. In order for that line to move one direction or the other, the phase would have to be changed. But also, the fact that it goes from being vertical up and down from top to bottom uh, through a 360 degree circle and also left to right, right to left, you know, it's clear that this is a manually or computer controlled. Now it's a very rapid pulsed sweep burst. It's harder to see. Yeah. That's a much more rapid burst pulse. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, also makes the uh, here we go again. Yeah. Okay, now if you talk about that also, we have this small, uh, invisible to the naked eye, either bugs or particles, nanites, micro machines, whatever they are. Uh, they act like bugs in that they reproduce, but not according to any regular schedule. Um, so they replicate and they flit all over you. But the thing is, unlike bugs which flit on you and then and keep flitting on you, these bugs can be turned on or off. Sometimes they flit on me, sometimes they flit on you and not me, sometimes they flit on me and not you, sometimes they flit on both of us, sometimes on neither of us. We also have this uh, very fine particulate that looks like a tan, reddish color um, instead of dust. That's you know the way our dust look like. Looks like it's not gray. It's uh, tan, reddish, orange, and it stings. You whenever know, the force field is. We have little things that, that jump and and sting and go into your skin and wiggle around. And this is all part of the same the same thing. This is a wider bandwidth signal, but there's still lines in between it. And for a while we also had a mold-like, and a second kind of dust, greenish-gray, um, mostly on the floor. It was uh, brought on perhaps in addition by cleaning with a lot of fluids, but uh, I think its, uh, it's origin is, is, it comes from the same uh, thing as the, uh, the Tan color dust, the stinging stuff. Um, from Morgellons, they use a, uh, they use precursors um, to uh, different life forms. One of them is a slime mold. Um, also, uh, from what I hear, um, human blood cells have been found. Yeah, so stuff that holds the biological. Spray in the atmosphere and that we have been sprayed down with personally while living at the hotel. Uh, all the while, uh, people in the hallway were wearing gas masks. We ha had a recording of it, but it was taken off of video phones. So, uh, fortunately, I don't have that recording anymore. But uh, we received an extra large dosage of this stuff. Whereas uh, the rest of the population by now has been exposed to this somewhat because it's being sprayed into the atmosphere daily. We just received a much larger dose.
this short video is just another example of the uh, direction of the mind control signal on my monitor as you can see slightly it's harder to see through the camera with uh, here we go it's harder to see with the camera um, you know based on the angle of the video screen but you can see now see there's the line okay and it slows and it speeds up and it it's clearly a different direction and speed than it was in the last video and now it's stopped it's found something it's zeroed in on a, you know it seems like it's sweeping it's looking it's uh, here we go it goes again uh, when I was a kid I used to have a CB radio uh, transmitter and I would transmit it and my TV would make these bars and the bars on the TV would correspond the, the thickness and the number of bars would correspond to how high the tone the pitch of the my voice was and I would play with this watching the, the, the bars move across the screen as I talked into the CB radio what we're seeing here is essentially the same theory uh, you know, TV monitors, sensitive uh, amplifiers picking up the input signal and somehow there's being broadcasted a, a signal that is overriding even the shielding of the amplifiers because the monitor is shielded to make sure that external signals like this don't interfere with your viewing of the what's coming out of the computer. But clearly in this instance, uh, whatever's up with this monitor or the signal that's being sent here comes through the shielding and displays as bars and lines various directions sizes and speeds based on phase wavelength and frequency bandwidth uh, I believe this is an indication of a field that's in the room no yeah it's an indication of, okay. of external RF energy being broadcast we, uh, to us. You also ob uh, observed um, metal being magnetized, um, being repulsed. Yeah, that's true. Strange things with yes. metal. Also, it's it, uh, it's, it seems to uh, contribute to uh, particles flying through the room. is that they're concerned enough about us talking about these matters and all the other related subject matters that uh, your First Amendment rights are in position, but that doesn't mean they're not going to send some kind of attack wave down there to try to discourage the meeting, and that's what happened. I'm going to go ahead and animate this uh, thing so you can see what the actual thing looks like. This is a video that we, we, we took of the uh, attack wave in and of itself, and what's going to happen when I initiate it here is you'll get to see exactly how this thing works when you see it real time. It's a frequency hopping wave and you see how it's jumping all over the spectrum. It's going back and forth. These are, are short videos but uh, this gives you the, the dynamics of what happens with this thing. And these waves are pulsed microwaves so they're, they're not only just covering one area, they're sweeping back and forth and they are causing interference to the brain because the brain is basically also a computer that uses synapse firings to for all your thoughts and body control. I'm going to run this one one more time and I'm going to show you a, diff a different view of it because I changed the uh, settings on the uh, on the uh, machine in terms of trying to make further analysis. This one is the is the most real-time analysis and that's why the wave looks like it's going e even faster. The next one I'll show you, this machine has different kind of uh, capabilities to make analysis and so, this is not my computer here so I'm going to be a little slow on it, let's close that out. Uh, it is 1.7 gig, almost 2 gigahertz. The numbers that are on the bottom left right here is the band center, this 1.775 gigahertz. 
Now, in this case, I'm using what's known as a marker, and that's going to be this little blip right here you see. Once I animate it, what the blip does, this is what's known as sig track, so it's going to jump around, even though the actual wave that they fired at us is jumping around, the sig track is going to follow it, and you can see that here, that little V that's on the top. And what that does is it, it will moves with the signal as the signal jumps, and as a consequence, you can see up in the top up here, we're getting a chance to look at the actual power levels. The number that's, that's rotating in the, in the upper right corner says minus 50, 50, 40. It's, what it's doing is, is summating those different power levels that are being fired at. Now, the actual level of this thing, it, this, in terms of its power right now, or when we captured it, it's running about two times the power of an FM radio station. Now, if you think about an FM radio station, normally they're 35, they can be anywhere from 35 million watts to somewhere in the range of 50, 50 megawatts. So for a signal to come up to these levels where you're roughly twice the, your, your ambient FM station means that we're dealing with a fair amount of power coming out of the sky. The, uh, get this thing there run one more time, and then we'll move on to the last one. The uh, numbers in the top left is the actual frequency that it's hopping to. It's 1.771, 776. So this is what was being radiated down on all of us from above yesterday. hand to realize that all of this was vulnerable to a single person exposing it. Okay, here again we're trying to film the waveforms that are being picked up by my video monitor. I believe again these are mind control waveforms. Uh, remote neural connectivity waveforms. I don't know why this monitor picks them up, but it does. I've tried it without computers. I've tried it in different rooms, different spaces, different plugs. I've opened it. I've tested it. I've checked out all the electronics. Everything is properly grounded. And everything is running properly. This is not noise that is being uh, coming from the computer or coming from uh, the monitor itself, I've measured this. It seems to be an externally influenced waveform. And as you can see, I know it's really hard to see in these videos, but as you can sort of see, it, it traces back and forth. It changes wavelength, which means the bars get longer, or wider, far apart, and slower as the wave gets larger. The bars get closer together, faster, and smaller as the wave gets higher, smaller, like closer to microwaves. Uh, the rotation of the waves, the, the angle of the waves from 0 to 360 degrees would be determined by the phase of two signals or the phase of that signal as it's being received by the monitor. And although it may not be obvious in this video, there's been many times where the phase has changed, where I've watched them sweep back and forth with the frequency and sweep back and forth with the phase. I've watched the direction of the lines turn, rotate 360 degrees over time, almost as though they're sweeping back and forth uh, frequency 
amplitude and phase differential trying to get a lock on something or maybe this is just the the signal that's used to affect our emotions I really don't know uh, all I know is this is the only monitor I receive it on I haven't been able to get it on any other computer however all of my computers uh, pick up some kind of noise signal there's some other videos about that uh, using software I can measure the, the noise, the frequency, the amplitude of the noise signal and it does not appear to be digital noise from the drives or from the computer processing itself it seems to be an external signal that's being picked up I get it on all my computers, the same signal anyway this is one of the few videos where hopefully you can see these lines going back and forth sweeping this happens all the time I have not really been able to notice a correlation between the, the high frequency ringing in my ears and, and these lines, but uh, I believe there is one. Anyway, that's my theory. As a targeted individual, under remote neural connection, under mind control, terminal human experimentation, non-consensual, this is my theory. Uh, good luck to all of you out there. Thanks for your time. Clearly, in this video, you can see how the uh, waveform on the screen is changing frequency, uh, uh, frequency, and um, excuse me, I can't think of the word. Anyway, it's changing frequency. It's changing direction. So it's almost like it's scanning back and forth. It's getting faster, which would be higher, and lower, which is slower. It's changing direction, so it's changing phase. Uh, I don't know what kind of signal this is, but I believe that this signal is uh, representative of the mind control signal, the, the remote neural connection as it scans back and forth and tries many frequencies. Um, there's times where I watch the direction of these lines change 360 degrees. I have taken this monitor apart. I've looked at the insides. I've made sure everything is grounded properly. I've cleaned and checked all the connections. Uh, the monitor seems to function fine. It does this regardless of what computer it's connected to. It does this regardless of what power supply it's connected to. It does this regardless of where I put it in the room. Um, We've had it in 10 different rooms, it's done the same thing. There is no uh, noise signal that I can determine that would cause this particular uh, changing in phase of the signal. Uh, noise signals are either spurious, they go on and off, or uh, they are repetitive, uh, repetitive, on and off again, pulsing, or they're constant. Uh, sometimes they can be constant with shifts in frequency, say a motor or compressor that's running and it kicks into the compressing part. Um, also, there's certain types of lights, fluorescent lights will make noise. Um, other types of signals will make noise. Even computer information data flow will make noise. However, none of that accounts for this uh, changing wavelength changing 
direction changing phase signal because even when it's not connected to a computer it makes this noise most digital noise uh, is stable you know it can change in wavelength slightly and it can change in 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 uh, period and and frequency but usually it doesn't change in phase uh, what it tells me is that there is uh, a complex waveform um, one that is being varied in phase almost being swept across the bandwidth from low to high and back down again as you can see here it's getting very low it almost stops and goes back uh, the direction has changed almost uh, 70 degrees so far which means the change in phase of the, the the signal is probably coming from multiple antenna array <coughs> um, I don't know it seems to me that this is picking up some sort of remote neural connection signal it's hard to see all the time when the frequency gets very high it doesn't show up as easily on the camera video however with my eyes I can see it very plainly um, day and night and I've watched it change direction 360 degrees I've watched it sweep back and forth back and forth until they sort of find me or something and then they get a lock and then it stays stable uh, as far as the ringing in my ears the high frequency 10 kilohertz tone I hear I have not yet been able to um, match that tone or variations in it to this change in uh, signal that I'm reading on the, the monitor however I believe they are related um, thank you for your time Thank <laughs> you.